it's quite right but do not be fooled by the sunshine it is cold and i'm doing my last little shakedown ride before i head before i head to the pyrenees and phil burt bike fit would be very mad at me because i put a new saddle on and i'm wearing new bibs and i need to cut it so dark um it's the same saddle that i've always used but it's not in the right position so i'm gonna have to fuck around fixing that now i don't think i want to wear these bibs because they're new and i'm like he always says if we do anything don't use things that you've not used before and like saddle shorts what am i thinking what an idiot right let me mess around with this does everyone else do this lefty loosey righty tighty god it's quite impossible to do it on a freaking allen key and i've done it the wrong way oh why is it before you go away i just feel like there's like a million things i should have just left it but the old saddle i think would was kind of done and uh it kind of broken and it's like collapsed and then they so basically the old saddle like, they do wear out and it's just it's i started getting um saddle sores where i wouldn't normally not saddle sores but just a bit more irritation and then i checked and i was like oh it's the, the saddle i'm just wearing saddles out that's gonna have to do because i got my last training session today uh it's a little taper i've got three five minute efforts on a well, i'm still doing it on a climb near me but Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous, and I've got so oh, it's so dark. I'm so nervous, and I'm so excited, but I've got so much to do, so I can't be faffing around here. That is absolutely perfection. First interval. I'll see you in an hour. First interval done. How goes this climb though? The perfect place for intervals. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful, beautiful! Effort two, one left. Also, I'm using the new Garmin. 10.50. Look at this weather now. Whoop, whoop. Please be like this in the Pyrenees. That's my three intervals done and I'll chat to you when I've got a breather. I don't know why this has actually made me laugh so much, right? Look at the sheep and look how like chunky they look. And look at that. Oh look, I always get this wrong. Alpaca llama. Look how long their necks are, look how slim they are, and then look at those little little chubby sheep. Oh, I love those little sheepies. Oh, bikes all ready to go. The bike needed a new bottom bracket, which I luckily had ordered, and a new chain. So that's all sorted. Got a new saddle. I don't think I'll wear the new bibs. Oh, the excitement, but also the the chaos of making sure I've got everything for like however long. Because I'm basically, if you don't know, let me have a little sit down on this rock. I am riding from basically across the Pyrenees. Goes from San Sebastian to. I think it's called, is it Sarebe? Karebe? You'll tell me in the comments. Uh, it's 800k, 21,000 meters. So it's gonna be a lot of climbing, but I'm doing it solo, unsupported. And I'm very, very, very excited about doing it. But I just want to let you know now, th that'll be the reason, because I go, um, when you see this, I'll, I'll go Monday. So I'll start riding Tuesday. And so I'm not gonna be on YouTube for a, for a week but i will be putting um, posts out on insta like stories and stuff just to keep you updated sharing like what i'm up to where i am at and bloody gawping at you're on the right good old stare anyway um so yeah if you don't follow me on instagram already and you want to kind of see the action as it happens live then follow me on instagram i'll leave that below um also i'll be obviously posting on strava and garmin connect so if any of you are on that i'll leave both my links to those oh, i'm just i'm just i'm actually giddy with excitement because the mountains are gonna be incredible i cannot i should 
I just can't wait. I just want to get there. Like whenever I go away and do things like this, it's always like the bit of stress before you go, making sure I've got everything. So like if anything, I'm just like I'm just like the the most planning person you've probably ever met. Maybe I'm not, but I do plan a lot. I've got spreadsheets. I've got. I'll sh I'll do a video actually maybe when I get back showing you how I've planned it all because, um, yeah. There's a lot of planning that's gone into it. I've spent so much time planning this, but my bike is ready to go. I'm almost ready to go. My saddle is, I think, ready to go. So let's do it. Also, Garmin ready to go. Show you. I'm gonna put um, a reel out about like my first impressions of it. Um, but yeah, this is what it is. Look how bright that screen is. It is ridiculously bright. Uh, that's where I am now, and I'm just gonna lay on my intervals. So, wish me luck, and I'll see you all either on Instagram or I'll see you back on YouTube in like just a bit over a week. Wish me luck, wish me luck, and a tailwind all the way, please. That's all I want. Tailwind, is that too much to ask? Tailwind, no rain, just beautiful, sunny 20s, early, mid 20s, no start of 20s like why did you say that not mid 20s early 20s early 20 degrees sunshine no wind no rain just beautiful views is that too much to ask i don't think so all right i'll see you all next video goodbye 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 <sighs> goodbye oh actually before i go i mean i will do a review of this um new head unit the garmin edge 1050 but the main thing that i love on this already let me show it you hang on ready it's got a bell! <laughs> <laughs>